1242. Ten years ago, the Congressional Research Service, in an extensive report, scored the San Joaquin Valley at the same level of economic, educational, and health attainment as that of Appalachia when President Johnson declared the war on poverty in 1964. Things have not changed much since that report. The Valley leads the state in home foreclosure, chronic unemployment, and educational underachievement. The Valley has the most challenged groundwater basins in the state, and our only significant industry, agriculture, is the industry most immediately and dramatically impacted by this drought we're facing now. This difficult situation, however, could be made even worse. For the past two years, the State Water Board has considered a proposal to significantly increase the amount of water diverted out of the San Joaquin Valley as unimpaired flows. Their plan would divert as much as 350,000 acre feet of water. Members, to put this in perspective, this is an amount of water equivalent to the entire capacity of San Francisco's Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. This is an amount of water that is more than the total annual irrigation deliveries of either the Merced or Modesto irrigation districts of which I represent. This take, which the State Board is pressing despite the severe drought, will destroy any chance we have to attain groundwater sustainability. It will significantly damage our agricultural backbone and it will directly put at risk the drinking water of over 800,000 people. The Water Board's plan trades one environmental issue for another by eliminating an important source of recharge to groundwater aquifers and basins. To protect fish populations and prevent saltwater intrusion, the Water Board's plan will cause land subsidence and collapsed aquifers that result in lost water storage capacity that can never be regained. The only alternative under this plan is to devastate the agricultural economy of one of the most disadvantaged regions of the state. The Water Board knows and acknowledges this, but claims it is unavoidable. They refuse to discuss mitigation and they tell us we are on our own. But as elected officials who are accountable to the people of California, we simply cannot accept the consequences of decimating local communities. No member of this legislature in either house or party would lay down quietly and let this happen to their constituents at home. This is why I stand here today with leaders of the educational, civic, business, labor, and agricultural communities of the Valley. This state's water board's approach to solving Delta problems by destroying other regions of the state is a false choice. AB 1242 moves this debate forward by requiring that the water board consider and protect every community. To end, I would like to thank the committee staff and the chair for working with us on this very difficult issue. With your help, Mr. Chair, I believe we have found acceptable language that we can both support moving forward. And I stand here today willing to take the committee's suggested amendments. These amendments move this issue forward in a meaningful way and ensure that the Water Board conducts its due diligence to identify alternatives to diverting water away from Central Valley communities. I would like to state on the record that the sustainability of groundwater is dependent on surface water, and I would like to continue to work with this committee to find consensus on language that recognizes that important relationship. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Certainly thank you for uh, the work that you've put into this bill, uh, the partnership between my staff and yours in trying to craft a path forward uh, that puts another tool in the toolbox. Uh, that instead of just flows, there can be other uh, discussions, other avenues, other solutions. And uh, as I said in my uh, opening statement, the relationship to, between surface water and groundwater is an important one. It's a discussion I'm going to continue with this committee. Um, but I think this, again, gives us another tool in the toolbox, allows us uh, a path forward, and I appreciate uh, your work uh, to that end, and I respectfully ask for your eye vote.